what's going on guys got a new video for you guys today and it is wwe draft 2020 night two live on monday night raw we got seven rounds to get in through today some interesting things go on some questions answered from friday night smackdown's draft day one um we got interesting things going on with tag team titles guys moving uh but let's get right into it make sure you check out my recap and analysis of night one so let's jump right into it right now with Monday Night Raw and round one. The first pick by Monday Night Raw is The Fiend, Bray Wyatt coming to Monday nights. He's now leaving Friday Night Smackdown. It's interesting that Fox let a character like The Fiend, Bray Wyatt go, but it also does make sense. He ran his course a little bit on Smack. There's not that many guys he can feud with right now currently on SmackDown, but him going to Raw kind of signals to me that he's the guy who's gonna take the WWE Championship off of Drew McIntyre. There's really no one else for him to face unless he continues his feud with Kevin Owens. But we'll find out later on that might not be the case in round two. So it's interesting to see, but I think it's also tipping the hat that Alexa Bliss will move to Monday Night Raw with The Fiend, being as they're in a current storyline together. Next pick was SmackDown's first pick of the night, and they stayed with women's champion Bayley. Obviously, she's a SmackDown women's champion currently in a feud with Sasha Banks, who was drafted to SmackDown on Friday night. So this makes total sense. Raw's next pick is Randy Orton. He stays on Raw, obviously still feuding with Drew McIntyre for WWE Championship. So he's going to stay there and have his match at Hell in a Cell and continue on from there. SmackDown will now take the Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. They're going to SmackDown to go along with Bianca Belair, Montez's fourth wife. Now with New Day coming to Raw, the Street Profits and New Day swap titles. So now the Profits are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and New Day are the Raw Tag Team Champions. I thought this was kind of cheap and pointless. So I don't really understand it, but I'm not a huge fan of the separate brand tag teams. Anyways, the divisions aren't as strong to keep two shows having two different divisions. It doesn't make a ton of sense, but it is what it is. Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, Street Profits now on SmackDown. They are currently the SmackDown Tag Team Champions after swapping the belts with the now Raw Tag Team Champions, the New Day, Xavier Woods, and Kofi Kingston. The final pick for Raw in the first round was Charlotte Flair. She stays on Raw. We haven't seen her on TV, but she will stay on Raw. Round two. Raw's first pick is Braun Strowman. He's coming to Raw from SmackDown. Uh, this is pretty obvious. We all know this was going to happen. Being as being as he previously showed up on Raw Underground the past couple weeks, he also had the match with Keith Lee a week ago. So it was pretty obvious that he was going to move, jump ship to Monday Night Raw. Interesting how they're keeping Braun and The Fiend on the same show still. Maybe they might jump back to that feud later on going forward. But that's Raw's first pick of the second round. The first pick for SmackDown on the second round is Daniel Bryan. He's staying on SmackDown. We haven't seen him in a bit, but he's staying on SmackDown for now. Uh, another big one for Raw. They're taking SmackDown superstars left and right. They got Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle debuted on SmackDown a few months ago. Hasn't really done much. Has the outside issues out of the ring that he's having currently, but they're bringing him to Monday Night Raw. Hopefully gives him a shot in the arm. He's being kind of wasted on SmackDown, which I don't really understand as to why he was. But hopefully on Raw, they can make better use of him and see what goes from there. Maybe setting up something for Brock Lesnar's eventual return to have a Matt Riddle versus Brock Lesnar match. Matt Riddle versus Keith Lee also be another awesome match they can have on Monday Night Raw. SmackDown's pick, Kevin Owens. Uh, we saw Kevin Owens last Friday taking on The Fiend and the week before having the KO show with Alexa Bliss. So he's going to be there. The Fiend going to Raw doesn't make a ton of sense, but... Kevin Owens now going to SmackDown from Raw. Now, Monday Night Raw taking another SmackDown superstar in round two by taking Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, former Intercontinental Champion only a few weeks back, had his run on SmackDown, obviously with the IC belt, but now coming to Raw. Let's see what happens with this. I'm not really sure why they're moving him from, Raw, from SmackDown to Raw, but it's happening, so we'll see what happens with that. But Raw taking three of SmackDown's top superstar. So it's interesting as they're, how they're depleting some of the SmackDown roster to make the Raw roster a little bit stronger. But with that, they did get Seth Rollins, SmackDown did. So maybe it might even out in the end. Now we got round three. The first pick in round three is Retribution. The entire group stays on Raw. They became a Raw exclusive stable a few weeks back when they finally supposedly signed WWE contracts and they only wreaked havoc on Raw from there on out. Obviously, they started on both brands, SmackDown and Raw, but now they were just specifically to Raw and now they're definitely specifically to Raw after staying there with the first pick in the third round. The first pick in the third round for SmackDown was Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan did return on SmackDown, showed up on Monday Night Raw, put into the draft pool. Now he will be a SmackDown superstar. 
Next pick of round three from Monday Night Raw is Keith Lee. He stays put, stays on Monday Night Raw. This is the best thing for Keith Lee after debuting only a short while ago. He stays there, continues the feuds he has, most likely a feud with Braun Strowman, and he can always go back to Drew McIntyre or Randy Orton. The next pick, King Baron Corbin, stays on SmackDown. That's fine. It's pretty obvious. He's been there, you know, since SmackDown moved to Fox. Hasn't done a ton, but let's see if he can get into some important feuds. Now, as I said before, with The Fiend being taken from SmackDown to Raw, tips the hat that Alexa Bliss will do the same. And they follow suit. Alexa Bliss will be going to Monday Night Raw. Obviously, she's together with The Fiend now, so they're keeping the storyline going. But it takes away a little bit of the surprise when they do stuff like this. So that's round three for the draft. Round four started off with the first pick being Elias. The returning Elias going from SmackDown. We hadn't seen him for a while. He goes to Raw now, back on Raw, Raw Superstar. We hadn't seen him for a while. He was injured. So now he's back and he's on Monday Night Raw. Uh, Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn stays on SmackDown. Obviously, the title stays there as the U.S. title stayed on Raw with Bobby Lashley. The second pick for Raw in the fourth round is Lacey Evans. She goes from SmackDown to Raw now. I don't necessarily like this too much uh they did ship naomi from smackdown to raw lacey evans now going to raw so the women's division on smackdown is weakening when it should be more of a strength i don't like the separation of these rosters either when it comes to the women's championship i don't think they have enough or they just don't showcase enough of the great women that they have there but lacey evans now a raw superstar along with naomi we got Cesaro and Shinsuke nakamura staying on smackdown they lost the smackdown tag team titles for absolutely no reason whatsoever I don't really understand it. Now they're staying on the brand, which where they lost the tag team titles. So maybe they'll take him from the Street Profits. We'll see what happens with that. To finish out the fourth round, Sheamus, now from SmackDown, goes to Raw. Uh, this is interesting. Sheamus recently comes back not too long ago. Has his fuse with Jeff Hardy, Big E. Now he's jumping ship, going to Monday Night Raw. We'll see what they do there. But, you know, let's see if he can get into the WWE title picture. Maybe a Sheamus, Drew McIntyre matchup is interesting to see. Uh, round five, we got Nikki Cross going to Raw from SmackDown. It's interesting. Maybe they keep the Nikki Cross Alexa Bliss storyline going, but again, they're weakening the women's division on SmackDown. Next picks, they got Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler going from Raw to SmackDown. Uh, Robert Roode only came back a couple weeks ago, so now they're shipping them back. They have Dolph Ziggler jump up from SmackDown to Raw on a trade. Immediately feud with Drew McIntyre for WWE Championship. He lost that feud, and now he's being shipped out with his tag team partner to SmackDown. WWE 24-7 champion R-Truth stays on Raw. That's an exclusive belt to Raw, as it seems, so he's staying there. You got Apollo Crews going to SmackDown from Raw. This is interesting. I thought they were going to keep you know, Ricochet and Apollo together and have Apollo continue to feud with Bobby Lashley for that United States Championship, maybe win it back from him one day, but they're throwing that out the window. He's going to SmackDown. Hopefully he gets into it with Sami Zayn, maybe eventually, or whoever the IC champion is. Has a run with the IC title. I'd like to see it. This next pick is kind of interesting. Dabakato, who we've only seen on Raw Underground, stays on Raw. So he's officially a Raw superstar. So we'll see what happens with Dabakato going forward. Maybe he continues to feud with Braun Strowman as they did a few weeks back. Round six, we have Titus O'Neil staying on Raw. It's a consequential pick. We haven't seen Titus O'Neil much. Maybe a little bit on Raw Underground, but, you know, not a big deal. Carmella stays on SmackDown. Obviously, she just debuted, re-debuted with her new gimmick a couple weeks back. So she stays there. Peyton Royce stays on Raw. Okay. SmackDown takes Aleister Black. He's now moving from Raw to SmackDown along with Kevin Owens. So that feud might continue on Friday night, but they're keeping them both together. They had a notice qualification match tonight on Monday Night Raw. So we'll see if that feud travels over to SmackDown. But with Selena Vega being his wife, currently a free agent, not drafted on either night to go along with Andrade. Selena Vega goes to SmackDown to be with her husband. And Andrade, since he was not drafted either, I believe stays on Raw due to the fact that he is engaged to Charlotte Flair, who was drafted tonight to Monday Night Raw. Kiro Tozawa stays on Raw. He's obviously a multiple time 24 7 champion, currently feuding in the comedy angle for that title with R2, so he stays on Raw. And we had round seven on Raw Talk on WWE Network. We had the first pick, Lana, staying on Raw. Natalia moving to SmackDown, so they break up that group immediately after just forming them only a few months back. They had some tag team matches. We're feuding a little bit with the tag team champions. Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, now they're being split up. Natalia going to SmackDown. Riddick Moss stays on Raw. You see him on Raw Underground, obviously. The Riot Squad moving from Raw to SmackDown, which is interesting. They had the little feud for the tag team titles. Now they're putting them over there. So 
in turn if they keep this as a, as a team they have a team out there so that the champions can maneuver around all the shows and fight different teams i think that's why they're doing that um, but it also kind of helps out the women's division when they eventually split this team up going along the same vein as double kato raw picks arturo ruas we've seen him before on raw underground he is now officially a raw superstar okay we had on talking smack this past saturday they had some extra picks go out we had Humberto carrillo staying on raw tucker going to goes from smackdown to raw so they split up heavy machinery so tucker and otis would be separate i think this is terrible for tucker i don't think he's gonna flourish as a singles and i think he may be phased out eventually from there drew gulak goes from smackdown to raw this is obvious we've seen him on raw a few weeks in a row fighting for the 24 7 championship and those comedy skits they have going on so he goes to raw kalisto stays on smackdown funny how they separated the lucha house party into separate members shorty g stays on smackdown nothing much to say there murphy going from raw to smackdown because the mysterios went from raw to smackdown and so does seth rollins so that storyline continues they just shifted it to friday nights now grandma talik and lindsey dorado both going to monday night raw so lucha house party is officially split up but guys that's my recap and analysis of all the draft picks that have come in so far appreciate you guys for watching remember to smash that like button hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel notification bell so you guys alert when new videos drop appreciate you guys for watching catch you guys later